Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel again, and another episode of statistical function and formulas in Excel. So in this video, we are going to talk about a very specific chart which is very helpful in statistical area, which is called box and whisker plot. Box and whisker plot help us to show statistics like minimum value, first quartile, third quartile, median, and maximum value of a data set you have in your worksheet visually. Okay, so it just add a visualization to your statistic calculations and it will help you to analyze your data in certain way. So you're gonna learn that in upcoming minutes. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because in upcoming days, years, months, we are going to cover each and every aspect of Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. So here we have a very basic sheet because we don't need an advanced example for this. We're just going to go and overview how you can use this particular chart okay so we have a set of marks and we have a set of series here which is a number so we will create a box and whisker plot and we'll let you know each and everything about it so to create box and whisker plot you need to select your data first like this right or you can select your set of columns or set of rows however your data is organized in your worksheet and now go to insert and here's the chart tab here under it you have a statistic icon here which is insert statistic chart so just click on it and choose this particular boss and Vixer plot like that so let's first create a name here Max. so you get a little diagram like here so now we are going to find what does that mean okay so before jumping on to that let me just add a number here numbers around this particular diagram you just go to click the add here icon here and just mouse over this data labels or you can also select it like that so we will get an overview what does that mean okay so now as you can see how this diagram is classified so first is the top number here which is the top line like that if you, we zoom into it you can see a top line which is the maximum number and the last line is a minimum number okay and then you can see a cross here and you can see the number 72 point something it represents the mean of our set of values here okay it just revert back the mean number which is 72.69 so you don't need to calculate using some formulas you can just easily visualize it using box and whiskers plot and as you can see your line here like that 66 it represents the median or you can say a middle number which is 66 here and this little 56 number is a first quartile and that 93.5 is a third quarter hope you understand and how this diagram is classified the first line here is 98 which is shows the maximum value and we have a minimum value of 50 which is of a dozen here and here we have a first quartile number which is 56 it's a little blow line of this particular square or you can say rectangle and we have a upper line of rectangle represents our third quartile which is 93.5 and here we have a cross which denotes as a mean which is 72.69 of our set of values in our data set and we have a line here as you can see it means or represent the median or you can say a middle number which is called 66 of Amandi here right so you can customize the chart elements using this so you can also customize using axis title and you can just edit your title of our axis here like if we just choose that classifies as class 11 or however you want and we can just classify this as marks okay so it will give us our chart a more clear look or you can say classification if you need to change styles of it you can just click this brush icon and you can just go along all other styles you have available just click on it this looks very neat now just double click on it you have a format chart area 
here a window you can also customize using any other color like that so we have just used our automatic and you can also use a border but you can also customize using any options here and here in this you can add glow shadow to your numbers or chart and you can also use the soft edges however you want it's just your personalized way and here this is the size and properties section so these has different properties like move and size with this is and like if you just modify it using your own taste it will just move and size with the cells and second is move but don't size with the cells so you just limit your customization okay so if you want need to lock so you can click the lock print object if you want to print your excel sheet you can also print that object so here's the size you can just customize your size or you can use this particular pointers and you can just drag it however you want but you can also use the precision if you have if you are creating a visualization chart or a dashboard so you may need a precise sizes then you can just add it using this particular section here so you have also have a text options which is a text field okay and text outline so you can change however you want so that's how you can edit your box and whisker plot so if we just uh, click on this chart which is the main whisker and box box plot if you double click on it there's an icon shows on format data series which is this statistics so here you can also customize the series option like this if you want to show the mean line you can also show the mean line by clicking this box if you want to show the inner points you can also show the inner points like this there you go it will just classify all the inner points of marks we have of different students here so we just don't need that we just need a clear look so if you want exclusive media or inclusive media, it depends on you so these are just a different set of examples i can say or you can say options to explore for using this simple box and whisker plot so hope you understand this chart or you can say statistics chart you can insert in your series of data where you can visualize your statistics like mean, median, mode, maximum, minimum values like that. So if you have learned something from this video, you can click the like button if you want to share this video to your friend, colleague or your social media friends, if, then you can just share this video. And if you have questions in mind regarding this particular chart or video, then you have a comment box with you. Just ask right away. We will get back to you. So see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.